Hey there, rock stars. Sarah Robbins here. Welcome to today's blog. Um, typically, I'm coming to you live from my home office, and today I'm coming to you live from my kitchen. Um, I am so thrilled to be spending time with you today. Who am I? Well, before we get started, let's go ahead and get acquainted. I am the author of the best selling book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business, which, by the way, thank you for making it a bestseller since the very first day that it launched. I am also the creator of the CD series, The Rockstar Recruiting School, and the Masterclass Edition. Whoops, here we go. Um, hey, by the way, who's read this book? Share your comments. I would love to hear how it's helped you to rock your network marketing business. Um, today, I want to talk to you a little bit about strategy behind end of month. Um, I always tell the consultants on my team that month end truly is a holiday for us. It's one of the most strategic times. And for us, all of our auto ships and things process on the 21st. So I tell them, circle that day on your calendar and start to get strategic about how you can make the most of your month end and really increase your sales and sponsoring too. So um, today I want to share with you just a few tips that I'd be sharing with my team this incredible end of month. Now, if you're a leader of a large team, I want you to imagine, you know, network marketing momentum, really, what is it? It is, um, really all about getting a lot of people to move the needle just a little bit more. That's how we create incredible momentum. Let's face it, not one person is gonna sell $100,000 of products in an hour, but if you get 100 people to each sell $1,000 worth of products, you get my point, right? And um, for you, the brand new distributor, distributor who's starting, I want you to think about this. Why would you ever leave money on the table? You know, by making these promotions and helping your team to promote as well, well, it helps you to strategically earn the most of on your sales and also in participating in different programs within your company as well. So are you guys ready? I have three tips to share with you, but I also want to share with you this. I have five more that are on the blog today. Worked hard today for you and um, I'm sharing you with you five fabulous tips on how you can increase your sales and sponsoring, not just end of month, but really all month long, okay? So I wanna just share with you three on this live training, then make sure that you click on the link um, in today's training so you can get more tips as well. Don't forget, be sharing this. You can in fact share right now on your team pages so your team can tune into this live training, but also too, um, you can tag your team in the comments below. Hello to everybody joining in, so glad to have you guys. And I'm so excited to share with you our month end tips for today. I'm gonna share with you three and then there's more in the blog. So first and foremost, guys, I want you to think like a CEO. You know, a lot of times with, um, you know, like skin care and cosmetics companies, let's say for example, they treat their customers to special offers, I'll bet you at strategic times within the business, you know, seasonal sales times, etc. And they might do things like gift with purchase, um, you know, whatever the case may be. You see uh, different companies that will offer free shipping once your orders get to a certain point. And believe it or not, they do this very strategically, very strategically. So for ourselves, as CEOs of our own company, right, we are independent distributors. We are the CEOs of our own company, which by the way, when people ask what they do, what I do, I don't say, oh, I sell something. I say I'm, you know, an entrepreneur. And they say an entrepreneur of what? And I tell them, you know, when I used to teach, I would say I'm a teacher, but my passion is my new business. And they would say, what is it? And I would tell them, okay. So think like a CEO. If you treat it like a business, it can pay you like a business. If you treat it like a hobby, it'll probably pay you like a hobby. But I want you to be thinking about how you can reinvest in your business like the CEOs do of large billion dollar brands. There may be strategic times during your business that you would offer gifts with purchase to get people off the fence and to get them to purchase or gifts with enrollment to have them join your fun and fast growing team. Be strategic in building your business and be thinking about times during the month that you might want to reinvest in your business, which could be you know, a write-off for you as well. Ask your accountant. I am not one, but I'm just giving you that advice. So, you know, a lot of times to get people off the fence, if I'm looking for one new distributor to help to achieve a goal, or if I'm looking for a few new customers, I'll do a gift with purchase or a gift with enrollment during that time. Now, sometimes my company might, you know, offer things, but if they aren't, 
you know, I believe I'm responsible for the organization that I build. They're responsible to provide great products. Um, and I, of course, you know, mail me a paycheck. But, you know, for me, I'm responsible in, you know, the strategic building of my business as well. So I might do some gifts with the purchase or gifts with enrollment for new customers or new distributors to really incentivize those. So maybe it's, you know, a free product that I can fulfill through my consultant auto ship. Um, maybe it's a reimbursement for, you know, an, a, a, a different fee, you know, associated with ordering, whatever the case may be. If you're not a product-based company, what about, you know, some Starbucks gift card? to show people loyalty you know you're a star here's some bucks or thank you for keeping my business brewing you're welcome Starbucks no just kidding <laughs> but these are just some really great ideas sometimes it's just little things that can get people off the fence and really get them to, um, to, to make that move toward purchasing from you during that specific time of the month okay so I want you to be thinking about that you know if you do reimbursements that's easy to do through PayPal you know whatever the case may be all right number two the next thing I want you to do end of month, and remember, you've got today, you've got tomorrow. If you've got tonight to think about it, and you can just try this out for one day. You know, I always say, you know, take a short period of time to run something and, you know, just see, you know, if it works for you, and then you decide whether or not you replicate it again. But running a special for a day is, you know, super safe, okay? All right, so the second thing is, is post these specials. Post them on social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, wherever it is that you're going to get social, and um, make Make sure again that you follow your company's policies that you can do these things etc um, but make sure that you post them where people can see them but also create a campaign and email it out as well I always email out my friends my family, my customers, my former customers. I never take people off a list unless they ask me to. I respect that. Um, I email out my prospects, my, my even previous consultants who maybe the timing wasn't right before and I'm still in touch with them. I will drip on them. I create what I call drip campaigns and just share information every month. In fact, I sent out today to all of my customers and all of my friends and family and all of my prospects um, you know, basically just, uh, you know, what the month end offer was. It's one that our company is um, running, but also too, I'm doing a virtual beauty bash that's just for my personal um, contacts. And so I invited them on to hear more as well. Um, so, you know, be dripping on people now and again. And I just sent that out today and I have two people who ended up joining on my beauty bash and more that are inquiring about the products. I think I had three that came from that particular campaign. Okay, so that's number two. Now, number three, you have to follow up. The fortune is in the follow up you guys I mean here's the thing you know bottom line at the end of the day you know you really hope that people are seeing and of course responding and you're hoping that you know they're reading your email but what are the chances you guys what are the chances that it just happened to follow, uh, pop up in the newsfeed or what are the chances that you know sometimes the email goes to spam etc so I always think that it's good to just personally follow up. And I like to use this language because it makes people feel good and it's true. You call them and say, you know, earlier you express interest in the business or the products, as a courtesy to you, I wanna share with you a special that I'm running end of month. Or as a courtesy to you, I wanna share with you a special that our company is running this month. And whether it's limited time, while supplies last, whatever the case may be, I wanted to be sure that I shared it with you. The fortune is in the follow-up. So personally, message each person and say, did you see my offer via email or did you see it on Facebook? If they say no, you can say no problem, I'm happy to tell you about it. And if they, just, if they say yes, then just say, you know, as a courtesy to you, I just wanted to reach out and extend this to you while I'm still available. But guys, here's the thing, you have to set goals. Set your goals with your sponsor, um, your accountability partner, your significant other, um, and make sure that you really just set a strategy for how you can finish the month strong. If you're not sure, reach out to your sponsor and say, hey, I've got some goals, and um, here's my ideas. You know, what do you think? Run it by them. And then of course, try these things, try the things listed on today's blog and make it your priority to finish strong. You are a finisher. You know, don't wimp out. This time of month is so strategic. Finish strong, have a spirit of excellence. Make that 
final push and do the same with your team. Leaders, last little tip for you guys. I started doing this just with my personal team. I've got hundreds of thousands of people on my network marketing team. So unfortunately, I can't do this for everybody because Facebook won't hold us to this capacity. But for people that I personally sponsored, I started doing, and by the way, if you do have a small manageable team, do it for your team. If not, you replicate it down and teach people to fish, right? Teach them to do what you do. Teach them. That is the art of duplication. So my team will do it for their team, so on and so forth. Our top leaders do the same. But end of month, always, you know, two to three days before the month ends, we always do virtual beauty bashes. And if you search on my blog at sarahrobbins.com, virtual events or Facebook events, I do training on it so you can see how. I strategically do those at the end of every month because it's a good way to help my team get a mass amount of people off the fence and moving forward to try the products or the business. I always tell people, you know, with the virtual beauty bash, we do some fun giveaways, no purchase necessary. They can relax, watch from the comfort of their own home with their favorite beverage and just tune in. And I just do a Facebook Live presentation, put out my products on the table, just like I'm doing with you guys now, but in a private event. And I share with them the products, the opportunity, my story, and then whatever giveaway we have for the next 24 or 48 hours um, that will help my team to finish strong. So I'm doing it tonight just for my personal team. And um, we're going to have some cool offers. I'll share it with people. And... Um, Again, run it as a 24-hour promotion, and we always see record-breaking sales and sponsoring um, during the period of time. During that period of time, so guys, I want to wish you a magical and marvelous month end. Finish strong and help your team do the same. For more tips for me on today's topic, there's actually I think like. Uh, well, a lot more, <laughs> head over to today's blog at sarahrobbins.com. Don't forget, tag your team below and share it on your private team pages. Rock on, rock stars.